What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, I'm Donax and apparently I became a Rooney Candy and let me show you what I have for you. So today I have, as you see, um, Runic Bestial White Forest. Um, I think this deck is built to beat the Yubel deck. Um, the pieces are very good into the format because of course the, the fiends me stuff and they put bodies and most importantly of, of everything, Chaos Angel. Chaos Angel is such a pain in the ass to deal for most decks and <laughs> it's even better when you drop the second one, you go first one, okay, out it, they out it, uh, you survive with the, your runics and then you drop the second Chaos Angel, they don't have an out anymore. It's so satisfying when you see so many games. But yeah, this is pretty much the idea of the deck. Um, it's to beat Yubel. If you want to have a more general widespread of matchups, you probably have to um, respect more the shifter decks, which are the, the bad matchups for this deck. Uh, for example, you can play more floodgates. Um, <laughs> you know, I wanted to <laughs> not do that for, for this video. Um, so for the white forest stuff, we, we only have the useful cards. Uh, not playing a stellar, because even though I like the one of stellar in, in runic builds, um, here I have way too much engine if I play a stellar as well, because I have the beasts, of course. And while all the handshop beasts are, of course, handshops and non engine, the Lubellion, the Regain count as engine. So I don't want to overcommit with, the, with, with my engine, with my pushes. Uh, so we are left with uh, 3 LZ, 3 Sylvie, and 2 Lucia. I'm playing 1 1. You could play actually 2 traps and be fine. Tails is not really that needed. I'm sticking with 1 and 1 because like, uh, it's more discard father, <laughs> but there's not, not much else other than that. And of course, I'm playing the Beasts. I'm playing 2 Sabron here because it gives you access to Lebellion, um, so this forces them to get rid of it with their SP, so it's one less interruption for my turn. So I'm playing two Lebellions, not playing three because you draw a lot and you, you, you want to have your draws to actually do something, um, so you don't want to draw into too many duplicates. I actually mold so much when, when I draw the, the third Z on the third silly like, come on, can I please draw a runic card? Anyway, um, that, that is why I'm playing two. So one regained, I don't think you need two. I don't think you need beast to regain, but if you want to go ahead, I will not stop you. And then your runic stuff, pretty basic, two fountains and 17 runics. Uh, the bad runics I'm playing, uh, um, Smiling Storms uh, and Dispelling. And Triple Perulia. Triple Perulia is very good in the main deck in, in this version because it can draw you into your Bestials and it can draw you into more Runics. And once you start drawing two or three cards on your turn zero and you get access to more Bestials and more Runics, it's so easy to crack the boards. It's very, very easy. It's guaranteed that you will crack any board if your Perulia uh, resolves. I had a, a game where I dropped a double Brulia on a Ubel guy and I started my turn with more than 10 cards in hand. It was 10, it was 10. Uh, it was like overkill. And then the side deck is not really interesting. Uh, for the extra deck instead, I'm playing one Zapper Shrimp, uh, Coral Dragon, Triad Master, uh, Arciana, and the other two, so Silvera and Diabelle. One Changing, which is really good with Bestials and really good with the Runics. Uh, double Case Changer, as explained. This part is the MVP of the deck of any Bestial version. And then Triple Hugin, I'm not really sure you need three, but uh, I don't think you'd play any less, so <laughs> don't have many other options. Um, one Gary and one SP. Uh, you could actually go with, um, with a Blazer setup, because Evenly is kind of popular and it's the only breaker that actually does something to you. But, you know, yeah, you could cut the Changing and cut the, or either of these two, or even one Hugin, but I mean, yeah, 
it's, it's to be an experiment and uh, I, I'm not discarding the idea at all. Um, it's the very uh, much sheet for, for the deck profile. I can show you one combo line so you get a grasp of what the deck can do. Um, here, of course, the hand is broken, but uh, there's no point in showing you what I can do with five runics. Like, you go Hugin search and, and then see what you draw. So, this is probably what you will be doing uh, a lot during your games if you go and turn uninterrupted. So, let's see, you go um, Sylvie, and then you have a lot of fodder for the runics, uh, for Hugin discards, and for the White Forest discards. So, you grab woes, very important, do not skip this step. Uh, we go Magnemut, you search Magnemut here because you don't want to draw into it, even though it's fine if you draw into it because you draw, you, you search any other beast. Anyway, you here is one step, you, you grab back the woes, the, the tail, sorry. Uh, you could actually delay the Diabelle and grab back one fountain then to use, but that this is like the, the most, um, the one thing you will be doing more often. Um, then you go, you can actually use the tails, grab the LZ, so you have even more bodies. So a bit of oopsies, and LZ sack the fountain here. So that was the confusion. And now it's really, really simple. You go Russia, draw one, uh, put fountain. Here I, I banish the Sylvie with the Magnemut because they want to uh, get back the Sylvie later. Uh, with this pattern. That, that's the reasoning behind. And there it is, this pattern. Grab back um, Sylvie and then from here you can go whatever you want. As I said, you can actually um, go Blazer here, like for example Sylvie and this pattern. Oh, sorry, first you reduce the value and then place regained, and then Sylvie and the Ballion go into uh, Legacia, for example. And then you can like just simply revive Russia um, and make a uh, crimson with, with Diabell. You lose the Diabell, but you gain an Omni Negate and you have Woes live. And yeah, that is, that is not bad at all. And you actually can um, link off the, um, the, gash, the Legacia for, for SP. So there are a lot of stuff that you can do. But I really like leaving the amount here because you tag out for, for Chaos Angel, for Zapper Shrimp, and then into Chaos Angel, and that's a lot of disruptions. Um, does, it, it fares really well into all the other engines. And so if you don't want to do that, you can just go into the classic uh, Triad, Changing, Climb, and, and it's good enough. You have your Runics. You have your regain setup, you have the search and the end phase, and you will probably win this game. You have woes, you have everything. So that's pretty much it. Um, I wanted to keep this video quite short, so uh, to come back and see you how, how you like this format, if you uh, want uh, faster videos uh, or longer, whatever. Tell me in the comments, and see you on the next one. Bye.